Hello, my name is Kate James. I'm a cataloger and a former member of the RDA Steering Committee. This video in the RDA Concept Series is about RDA elements. If you have not already seen the video about entities, I suggest that you watch that one first. Before I begin talking about elements, I just wanted to say that I could spend a lot of time on this topic, more than is uh, appropriate for this short introductory video. So in this video, I'm just going to explain what elements are and explain what an attribute element is and a relationship element is, show you a few examples. I hope to do more videos related to the topic of RDA elements um, about concepts like domain and range and talk about some of the different labels that are used for RDA elements, but this is just the beginning of information that you need to know about RDA elements. As you know, RDA is based upon conceptual models. New RDA is based upon the IFLA library reference model, also called LRM for short. In LRM, it talks about how entities are described using attributes and relationships. But there is no umbrella term in LRM to talk about both attributes and relationships. So in RDA, we use the term element to mean both attribute and relationship, it encompasses both of those ideas. And as you may have heard me say in the video uh, on entities, entities are the things that we're describing and elements are the tools that we use to describe those entities. That's my very informal definition, but I will show you the actual definition of element in the RDA toolkit. I have it bookmarked over here. Here it is. Okay, so an element is a specific aspect, characteristic, attribute, or relationship used to describe an RDA entity. Now, unfortunately, there is no link from element to attribute element in these numerous see also references. So I wanna go back up to the top and find my bookmarked definition of attribute element here. So an attribute element is an element that is an inherent or externally imputed characteristic of an RDA entity. I will show you a example of this in toolkit. Um, in my recently viewed section, I have language of person. Here's the definition of language of person. The definitions of specific elements in RDA are given in terms of the type of value that you're expected to record. So for the definition of language of person, it's a language used by a person when writing for publication, broadcasting, etc. So I'm expected to record some kind of a language value and that could be as a keyword, as a controlled vocabulary term, as an identifier, as an IRI. I already know that this is an attribute element, but if I didn't, I could easily figure that out by looking at the element reference section. So in here, you will see the domain of this element is person. So this is the entity described. There's no range listed here. Uh, that's because this is an attribute element. If there was a range value, it would have an RDA entity listed, and I would know that it's a relationship element. Now I wanna show you the definition for this element in the RDA registry, which looks a little bit different, but it's the same element. I could get to it by going to this link, by the way, but my internet connection has been slow, so I have these pages already up to save myself a little bit of time. So notice the label is slightly different. It has a verb, has language of person. And here the definition uses this verb relates. It relates a person to a language used by a person when writing for publication, broadcasting, et cetera. Remember I said this is an attribute element, so I don't want you to be confused about this term relates. That doesn't mean it's a relationship element. If you're wondering why it's, this is a little bit different. So the RDA registry uh, has all the concepts that are used in RDA. It has the entities and elements packaged for easy use with linked data. So when you are expressing things as linked data, it um, really, it all becomes a relationship. So it makes sense to say 
that this element is relating a person to a language. It's a very brief explanation of why it's a bit different, but it's a nice segue into my next discussion point about language of a person. If I scroll down here, you can see that there's some examples for language of person. This view and context example will show multiple elements identifying a specific person entity. So this person that you might know best as Mary Queen of Scots has um, a couple of languages associated with her. So she has language of person French and language of person English. Now here's a different kind of example, viewers relationship example. Again, just because he uses the term relationship, that doesn't mean it's a relationship element. I'll show you what this looks like. So this is basically um, expressing information in a linked data visualization. So this person, Echo, Comma, Umberto, has language of person Italian. This IRI represents the person, Umberto Echo. This is showing a relationship, and this is the element, um, this is the IRI in the RDA registry for this element. And then this is an IRI uh, for the language Italian. When you're showing this to end users, you wouldn't want to show them something like this. Obviously, it would be a more IRI readable form like this, but it's that same information stored as linked data. A full disclosure here, I was the RDA examples editor for a number of years, and I came up with this term, viewers relationship example. I was trying to keep it simple and not uh, scare away people that weren't familiar with linked data, so I didn't want to call it uh, like an, a visualization of an RDF triple, for example. So that's where this term comes from. And now that I've explained how it's being used, I hope that you will never get confused about this and the relationship element again. So this is an attribute element. There's also a different type of element, an relationship element that relates to RDA entities. If we go back to the home page, I have an example of that. Country associated with person. Again, the definition tells me what kind of value I'm expected to record for the element. So I'm expected to record a some kind of a country value. If I open up the element reference, and I didn't already know this was a relationship element, I could see here clearly that it is. The domain entity is the entity that's being described. The range entity is the entity that I'm going to record a value for. So it's gotta be some type of a place. In this case, it's gotta be a country because the element says that it's a country. Let me show you the example um, of that same element in the toolkit. So again, it's a slightly different label because it has a verb and then the definition is slightly different. It relates a person to a country with which a person is identified. It means the same thing, it's just worded a little bit differently. In this case, I prefer to look at the definition in the RDA registry because it gives me a clearer picture of how the element is working. So it's relating the person to the country. In contrast, if I look at it in the toolkit, it just talks about um, the country, which is the value that I'm going to record for the element. So looking at the definitions in the RDA registry was really helpful to me when I was trying to understand um, how relationship elements worked and how domain and range works. Again, I know these terms may be confusing to you if you're not familiar with them already, and I promise there will be another video specifically about that. I will just show you the examples of those concepts down here. So here's our friend, Mary Queen of Scots. Again, we've got two countries associated with her, Scotland and France. Now here's the viewers relationship example, which in this case is for a relationship element. Again, you can see that this user-friendly label is um, representing this linked data. So this is the 
IRI representing the person, Derek Walcott. This is the IRI representing the RDA element has country associated with person. And then this IRI is representing St. Um, Lucia, which is a small island nation. That's where Derek Walcott was born. Thank you very much for watching this video. I promise to do some more videos about RDA elements that will hopefully answer any unanswered questions that you have based on watching this one. Have a good day. Bye.